Imagine a virus with a business card, not stealing data, not destroying files, just leaving behind a name, an address, and a phone number. Sounds insane, right? But that's exactly how the first computer virus in history went global. The year was 1986. The setting? A small basement shop in Lahore, Pakistan. Two brothers, Basit and Amjad Farooq Alavi, ran a little business selling medical software. But they had a problem. Piracy. People were copying their disks, spreading their program without paying. So the brothers came up with a strange solution. Instead of suing or sending angry letters, they wrote a program. A little piece of code that spread itself silently across floppy disks. When someone copied their software, the code tagged along. It didn't destroy data. It didn't steal secrets. Instead, it left behind a mark. Sectors on the disk were relabeled, system slowed, and in the hidden corners of memory, a message appeared. That message carried the brothers' full names, their shop address in Lawar, and even their phone number. The virus had a signature, literally. It was called Brain. And unlike the wild malware we know today, Brain wasn't meant to harm. It was meant to shame pirates. A digital warning note tucked inside the machine. But here's the twist. Once Brain escaped Pakistan, it spread like wildfire across Europe, across America, across the entire world. Infected disks carried the Alvi brothers' culling card. Suddenly, journalists and curious computer users were dialing their number. Imagine running a tiny shop and your phone rings non-stop with calls from every corner of the globe. That's what happened. The brothers insisted they never meant to cause chaos, but Brain proved something shocking. The age of the computer virus had arrived. Creeper may have been the first experimental virus. Elk Cloner showed that code could spread through human behavior. But Brain? Brain was the first IBM PC virus to truly go global. And it marked the moment when computer security stopped being a theory and became a battle. So next time you think about viruses as faceless enemies, remember this. The very first global virus didn't come from shadowy hackers or government spies. It came from a little shop in Lahore, stamped with names and a phone number and it changed the world forever. What more strange forgotten stories from history? Hit subscribe to Secrets of History because the past is full of secrets and we're just getting started.